Hoo-ya! This is Robin from the Back Pain Secret Podcast. And today, guys, we're going to talk about how to get shit done when you are suffering from sciatica. I'm going to play the intro song. We'll be right back, guys. So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, feed our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, today's topic is how to get shit done when you suffer from sciatica. And for you that don't really know what sciatica is, it's basically when you have pain in your back, buttocks, down your leg, even down to your foot sometimes, okay? And a lot of people that have different conditions with back pain have sciatica as well. As always, I have a patient story. Uh, we can call this guy Nolan. Uh, he's, he's a male, he's 30 years old. It's a made up name, of course, to protect the innocent, okay? And Nolan is currently in no really relationship. Uh, he doesn't really have a career, you know, he, he jumps from jobs to jobs. He has different office jobs, um, pay, professional paper pusher, basically, that's what it is, you know. And he's not really doing any exercises at all, you know. In, growing up, he was into gaming. He was, he was just sitting around doing a lot of th- this gaming community, you know. As he grew, grew older, he, he's, he's not, not a, he wouldn't say that he's a gamer anymore, but he still is, is not really into sports, no activities whatsoever, you know. He goes to work and he goes home, watch TV hangs out with his friends, you know. And for the past two years, he started to suffer from sciatica and back pain. It started off uh, like off and on once in a while, you know, once a week or twice a week. But now it's more or less on a daily basis. And uh, for the past six months, he has also radiation going down his right leg. Externally, you know, when you meet Nolan, he's like one of these happy-go-lucky guys, you know, that just, just, he's laughing, he's he's, uh, on his phone all the time, uh, checking out these different social apps, um, and basically at work, you know, he doesn't really have any any direction himself, he just does what anyone tells him to do, you know, and thinks that, 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 that that's okay. Never really had a plan in his life, you know, he was just like... He, he started to, to work in an office just because someone offered him a job there, you know, and he don't really have any goals in life whatsoever, you know. Um, he still lives at home with his mom. His dad passed away uh, when he was growing up, so he's still li- living with his mom. But internally, you know, even though he's walking around and he looks like this happy-go-lucky guy uh, that doesn't have any worries, you know, in his life, Internally, you know, he was telling me that he he, he told me that he's really feeling stressed. Uh, for the past five years, he has this internal stress because he sees that a lot of his friends, you know, they're out there, they're 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 they're, they're getting married, they're having kids, uh, they're not living at home, you know. And he's 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 sad because through his entire lifetime, he has he has had problems focusing on something for himself, you know, and just completing stuff. Um, and he feel this insecurity, you know, because everyone else seems to, like, have their shit together, you know. And I told him, you know, Nolan, that, that's not true. You know, most people have these different insecurities and in di- different aspects of their life. And it can look like from the outside that everyone is doing okay, you know, but everyone is, is struggling with different stuff. Uh, and he still, basically, Nolan told me, he still feels like a kid, you know, that he, he lacks this p- personal responsibility over himself and, and his life. And he feels like someone else is running his life, you know. So, we, we I gave him some strategies, you know, as always. I, I got him to, to start to walk at least like every day, half an hour, you know. Also, at work, I got him to get one of those standing desks where, where he stands up now in the morning, 30 minutes, in the, after lunch, 30 minutes in, in the afternoon, you know. And that helped him a, a bit. He still didn't go to the gym or do any other exercises, but it was a start anyway, right? Then I didn't really see him for like two years or something like that. But then he came back to me and he was telling me that uh, the shit has really hit the fan, more or less, you know, for him, you know. Uh, he got fired because the, the, the workplace downsized. His mom, that he lived with, still lived with, got sick. 
Uh, so she couldn't work with some like like uh, really uh, bad disease. So so he he was like the care caretaker for her at home. Now they had some help, but uh, she wasn't working. So he had to like get a job and 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 um, be the provider for the family. You know, so like from one day going from this go happy no you know just just no aim in life you know he was feeling it now you know he had pressure on him to to deliver you know uh, he ha was gonna have to bring in the, the the money for for his mom and himself you know uh, he had to take care of his mom okay because she she they had some help coming in but still he needed to do the groceries he needed to do the cleaning he needed to do all that you know uh, he also needed to get a new job okay apply for a new job and find a new job because <laughs> right now he, he was applying you know but but it was fierce out there you know especially if you don't have a lot of education and you don't really know what you want to do uh, there's a lot of people walking around like that uh, and uh, to take whatever they're offered right and also this this back pain was preventing him from from doing certain activities you know uh, he had a he had a burning pain in his uh, buttocks and down his right leg and this was like creating problems for him he, he had problems sleeping he was on painkillers it's not good at all you know so we we had a chat about this you know and we we I, I got him to do some core stability exercises I got him to walk and the standing stuff as well you know but also I could see what uh, Nolan uh, was struggling with and I've struggled with this as well growing up you know and still at so, some point you know you, you go through different phases in life but you see a lot of people in life just like they want to get shit done, but they don't really know how to get shit done, you know. So we talked about this, and I told Nolan, you know, first off, Nolan, you have to, like, decide your aim in life, you know. Um, and, and you need to, like, get a piece of paper, pen, sit down, and just, like, figure out, you know, what kind of job do you want to have, you know. How much money do you want to be making, okay. What kind of company do you want to work for, for okay. And do you want to find a partner, you know, someone to share your life with besides your mom, you know? Do you want to start a family, you know? Do you want to fix your sciatica pain? And, and are you willing to take the steps necessary to get that done? Uh, it's basically, you have to sit down, Nolan, now and decide what you want in life. And it might seem like harsh to say that, but the sad thing is if you don't decide it for yourself, someone else is going to decide it for you, you know? Because there's so many people out there with their own uh, aims in life and focuses and goals. And people that don't have their own focus and aim, they get used, okay? Uh, other people use them. So you need to you need to take care of that, okay? The second thing, Nolan, is that you need to decide what you should focus your attention on, okay? Uh, focus on, like, try to live in the here and now also you know when you're doing something focus on like being there with all your senses all the time okay not drifting away thinking about other stuff you know because what uh, like you need to like also sit down and think about you know what are you paying attention on paying attention on overall in your life you know uh, there's so many people most people uh, do not really have an own agenda a daily agenda or a weekly agenda or a monthly agenda or a yearly agenda okay they're just aimlessly walking around following what other people are telling them to do you know so so it comes down to this really you know most people nolan and i'm not pointing fingers fingers you know but most people are not focused on what they should be focusing on you know like their goals and their dreams most people pay attention to the distractions that show up during the day you know the cell phone uh, rings, you know, someone comes in to, to, the, to the door and just has some demands on you and, and immediately you, 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 you transfer, transfer the attention you should have on your goals and dreams and the shit you need to get done and you, you just solve their problem, you know, it's a distraction. So you need to, to learn how to not to get distracted because basically, uh, your your attention is 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 very very valuable okay you have to guard your attention from all the other shit that is going on around your world okay there's so many distractions now from uh, like like the, the the phone the computer tv 
media, papers, uh, you know, people, you really have to guard it with your life, uh, what you pay attention to. And number three, okay, Nolan, it's your attitude, you know. It's very, very important. Most people, they want to be energized, motivated, and happy, okay. Uh, but the truth, the sad truth is that the majority, a lot of people, they're just like blah, 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 okay. They're like, they're like, just go around saying they have a shitty life and nothing's positive. And basically they have acquired an attitude in themselves because they've been negative for so long that it's like stinky and really bad. Okay. And, and uh, they just think, think, think up the environment around them because they're so negative all the time uh, and it might seem harsh. Okay. But they actually decided to do that. Okay. Uh, they decided to to have that approach. They've, they've taken that decision every day for so long now, so that's part of them, okay? And these people, you, you know what I'm talking about. I know you, I'm not saying that you are a person like this, Nolan, but you know, and, and you know these people, you know? They're like, these people are spreading like a dark, cold energy around themselves. And it's sad because, like I said, they chose to do this. They can get out of it, but they have to make a conscious decision to get out of this this attitude. So you have to keep your attitude open, Nolan. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. You need to keep your attitude open because when you when you, you keep your attitude open, you you you're able to learn stuff, okay? And you're also able to connect with other people and that actually creates happiness in your life, okay? So don't be one of these people that that shut down okay be open uh, and and choose an attitude each morning that you're going to learn that you're going to uh, connect with people and that you're going to be focusing on your own stuff okay also number four very very important focus on your emotional life the emotional life and what do i mean with that you know well it's 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 it goes without saying you know your emotional life, you have to like take responsibility and focus on like the love and care that you're giving uh, your loved ones, okay, on a daily basis, you know. And you also have to allow yourself to be affectionate with with people and projects and and uh, things, you know, and not just stonewall it, you know. A lot of people uh, go through life, and most people, if you live a life, you will get hurt. Okay, shit will happen with job, uh, job related stuff, money problems, love problems, kids problems. There's all kinds of different pro problems in our life. And most people get hurt, you know, uh, a few times during their lifetime. Okay. And the thing is that it's very, very important that when you get hurt, that you don't decide to just shut down and say, I'm out. Okay. I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay. Because if you do that, you, you, you're going to just not not take uh, responsibility over your emotional life, you know. It takes a lot of responsibility, own responsibility, to allow yourself to love, okay. And that sounds kind of strange, right? But it does, you know. It's so much easier to just shut down and become a victim and, and be angry at someone and say, you know, but so by being like just shut down and become angry, uh, you don't really need to take any responsibility because it's, you can say it's their fault, right? It's their fault. So so please take responsibility, emotional responsibility in your life. And number five, I was telling him, you know, you have to take action, daily actions, Nolan, you know, uh, because your daily actions are like the foundation uh, to reaching your goals and also building your character, okay? Because what you're telling me now uh, is that you're not really trusting yourself. So you have to every day take small, small actions towards your goals, your dreams, your hopes, you know. And as you do that and you get momentum, shit will happen in your life, good stuff, and you're going to want to do more of that, you know. Um, it's You need to be disciplined and take these actions with your health relationship and work so that's why it's so important that you actually sit down and and go over this and really like like focus on uh, these different areas okay so just to recap a bit you know we talked about today 
today, Nolan, that you had to first decide your aim in life, okay? And then you have to focus your attention. You have to choose your attitude, stay open, and focus your emotional life, okay? Don't shut down. Even if you've been hurt in the past, open up your heart, open up your mind and, and uh, to people. And then number five, you have to take action, okay? You have to take action, daily small actions towards your goals, your dreams, your hopes in life okay and your back pain and say yeah okay guys that's all i had for today i hope you guys are doing great and guys remember just one step away from healing your back pain bye bye want more back pain secrets then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book back pain secrets at backpainsecrets.com inside this book you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.